Hi guys, it's me, Senior Pablo, and I just want to promote the new version of or edition of Casio Calculator, the FX570. So I'm going to unbox this calculator and to show you some uh, amazing features of this uh, version. So as you can see, transparent na po siya. And the good thing about this calculator, ay pwede po siyang gamitin sa lahat ng board exam kasi non-programmable po itong calculator po natin. So, i-show ko lang yung um, techniques dito. Mapapansin nyo kasi sa mga calculator, wala tayong uh, cosecant, cotangent, and secant. Ang meron lang tayo sa calculator is the cosine, the sine, and tangent. Wala tayong second, wala tayong cosecant, at wala tayong cotangent. For example, sa exam natin, ang hinahanap natin is second 45, cosecant 90, or kaya cotangent 135. Kapag ang given sana is cosine, sine, tangent, ipepress lang natin sa calculator. Kasi andito sila, sine, cosine, and tangent. Pero dito, wala sila. So, gagamitin natin yung reciprocal. So, the reciprocal of second is 1 over cosine. Tapos, yung angle measure, i-write mo lang 45. For the cosecant, that is 1 over sine, write mo lang for 90. And lastly, 1 over reciprocal of cotangent is tangent, so mo lang 135. Then, i-press na natin sa calculator. For example, Oh, Naka-on na yan. Press lang natin yung fraction bar natin. So, 1 over cosine. So, press cosine, then 45, then close parentheses. So, meron na tayong value, which is square root of 2. So, hindi na natin kailangan mag-solve using the unit circle. Next is the cosecant 90. So, fraction bar, 1 over sin 90 then close and the result is 1 so so then that in 1 and lastly cotangent so fraction bar again so 1 over tangent naman tayo ngayon 135 then close then enter so the answer is negative 1 so Short application lang ng ating unit circle using the uh, calculator FX570 ES+. Plus. So, ganyan ito siya kaganda na siya. Yan, transparent siya. So, if you want to buy, you can message me here at Senior Pablo page. And you can visit the Casio Philippine Calculator. Thank you and sana makapag-purchase kayo.